For those of you who watch the channel, you may realize that I love a good ceramic spray. Now I've been testing ones from Meguiar's, Turtle Wax, Yum Cars, Bear Car Care, and Garage Therapy, and I've been really impressed by the way they all perform. But can these Valentin veterans take on the weekend warriors? Let's find out. Since 1965, Autoglim have been taking the world by storm, and in 1991, their exceptional standards earned them royal warrants of appointment to Her Royal Highness, aka the Queen Mother, and they became a household name. But fast forward 30 years, and with the rise of other trending car care companies in the detailing scene, it seems like people are forgetting they even exist. But now they are back with another quick and easy way to bring that shine, and when Autoglim bring out a product, it's fair to say you're going to expect something pretty special. So let's talk about what this product does and how it can benefit you. So this is a ceramic hybrid formula that quickly bonds to the paintwork with a simple spray and a microfiber buff. So basically it's a spray and shine, so compared to waxing by hand, it's definitely great for those people who are in a hurry and like most ceramic sprays, it would definitely benefit the trade detailer who needs to get instant results. So for those of you who already have a ceramic coating on your car, this can make a great top up. But they aren't the only ones from the older generation who have an ace up their sleeve. At 75 years old, turtle wax is still going strong and after a relatively quiet spell, they came back with the hybrid solutions range and in 2020, they went all out with their graphene range and the product I wanna compare it against today is their very own Flex Wax. So today I'm gonna to be letting these two companies battle it out and at the end of the video, I'm gonna pick a winner so make sure you stick around till the very end as this one is gonna be very close. So let's just imagine that we're in Halfords for a minute. Hang on, hold that thought. Now let's just imagine that we're in Halfords for a minute. We've got all these bottles here. One of the biggest problems that you find with Autoglim is they all look quite alike. Now I know when it comes to marketing, it's really good to be on point with your branding, but for the younger generation of today, they don't understand how good Autoglim is. Now for the older generation, if you were to go back 15 years before we had Instagram and things like that, Autoglim were always going to dominate because they were everywhere. They were in every single magazine. But now when you've got the likes of the big boys like Turtle Wax bringing out stuff like this, when you put these two bottles together, you're going to be more enticed to go for this one. Not just because it says graphene, but because the packaging also looks really good as well. And they really have done their homework on their branding. Round number two, application. So after giving this BMW X1 a wash, we had a flat surface to work on, and this currently had no protection on it whatsoever. So we're carrying out a side by side, and first of all, I wanna see which is easier to apply. And I think if you're gonna be doing this from a business point of view, then it's definitely a big one because time is money. First up is Auto Glim, and you don't need a lot of product. In fact, you've got to use it sparingly. And as you can see in this footage here, the weather was very windy, so it's definitely not ideal. So for this, I had to spray it a little bit closer to the surface because I didn't want it to spray over on the other side of the bonnet. My first impressions were really good because it felt more like a quick detailer. It didn't necessarily feel thick like the Turtle Wax Graphene, but it did make light work of the bonnet, so almost no effort was needed to apply it. Next up is the Flex Wax, and although this is a vast improvement from their ceramic spray, it still did leave the odd streak, so I ended up having to use three towels to get perfect results. This definitely wasn't quicker than Autoglim to apply, but after a while I was getting really annoyed with the amount of effort that was needed to apply it compared to the Rapid Detailer. So this puts Autoglim back in the game at 1-1. One, one. Round 3, Water Beading. So we allowed a few hours for this to cure, which was handy because I was filming my interior detailing for beginners video. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a link in the description below. So it had about three hours to cure. And when it came to rinsing, it was ridiculously close to the point no human being could even tell the difference. But for me, if I had to pick a winner, I would pick Turtle Wax. Purely for the fact the water was beading off a lot quicker. So that's another point to Turtle Wax, making it 2-1. Round number four, the one wash test. 
So a couple of weeks ago, I tested both these products out on a customer's BMW estate. And again, on one side, I applied turtle wax and on the other, I applied the auto glim. And with the turtle wax, I still got those really bad streaks. And it was a lot worse because the paint was a lot darker. Now, I'm not saying this is a deal breaker because it is easy to correct. But still, for the average Joe, it just may be a little too annoying. So it's had its first wash since then and fortunately while I was filming the other video for the BMW M8 which is coming soon by the way we had some rain so as you can see in the rain it was really beading off quite nicely but it was going a little bit better in Auto Glim's favour. So Auto Glim gets another point for that making it too old. So now let's talk about price, but first of all, the Auto Glim will set you back just £20 for 500 mils, whereas Turtle Wax have got a £30 price tag on 680 mils. So that in itself already is a massive turn off for people who just want to try a product out and they're not really that convinced whether it's going to work for them or not, or they just don't want to commit. That is such a huge amount of money for one bottle. And I know you do get a little bit extra, but you've got to think more about the market and think more about the industry and the people who buy these products. We're weekend warriors, we're car detailers. We like to buy products and move on to the next one. It's part of like the learning process. We find things that we enjoy and then we move on to another one. Even if we think that one product is the very best out there, it doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna go out and buy the same bottle. We just like to try different things. But for me, there is one massive deciding factor and it's the amount of time it takes to apply these products. Now, both of these are supposed to be quick and easy, but at the end of the day, it took me 10 minutes longer to apply the turtle wax. And if you work that out over, let's just say you do six cars per week in your business, you're doing it as a standalone upsell, or even if you're not, that's going to work out of two days of your life within the year that you are going to lose. And at the end of the day, time is money. So for me, there has to be a clear and easy winner and it's auto glim. And this isn't me having a dig at turtle wax. In fact, this is one of my favorite products of the year so far. It is fantastic, but it's just the time issue. That was the only thing that I could really think that would actually separate these two. To the untrained eye, both the products looked exactly the same. And there was a tiny, tiny bit of difference, which nobody would even notice if you put it on their car. And before we go, I just want to reach out to one of my subscribers and I really want him to make a very quick, speedy recovery. Martin Sanford, my heart goes out to you. I can't imagine what it's like to have chemotherapy and radiotherapy. I hope you get back on your feet and I hope you receive our little goodie box that we're sending in your direction. So look, I wish you a speedy recovery and I hope everybody can comment in the box below and also wish you a quick recovery and get you back on your feet. As for me, I will see you in a couple of days for a brand spanking new video. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.